Many kids like to spend their time playing video games, but one Beamsville girl decided she wants to spend her time making them. And as Eric Fiano reports, she wanted to make a game that also teaches a lesson. Healthy food makes me fast and strong, not the junk food. Simmer Kudana isn't like most six-year-olds because she's already a game developer. It's actually really hard. It's harder than you expect. But that doesn't slow her down. Simmer recently finished a game she's been working on called Healthy Food Challenge. When I went to the doctor, they said I have to, to eat healthy, so I decided to make a game about healthy food and junk food. In Healthy Food Challenge, you're introduced to two characters. One eats junk food before a race, while the other eats healthy food. The goal of the game is to choose which person you think will win the race. You have to uh, choose the healthy food, because healthy food makes you faster. Simmer's dad says he introduced her to coding after he realized how smart and creative she was at such a young age. By the time she ended senior kindergarten, she was doing grade three and grade four maths by herself. So we were pretty surprised. And it's Simmer's age that her dad believes could earn her a Guinness World Record for being the youngest person to develop a game. As per my research that I've been doing, there's nobody of this age who has claimed this record. So if they agree to open up this category, she gets it. While Simmer's father helps to guide her, he says she does most of the developing all by herself. And I got to see it for myself. So Simmer is actually going to put my name and my voice within the game. Hi, I'm Eric. Hi, I'm Eric. So now that my voice and my name is actually in the game, I'm ready to play it. Hey, I am Joe. Hi, I'm Eric. I love pizza burger and fries. So since my character chose the unhealthy food, I think it's safe to say I'm probably not going to win. Yay, I won. Simmer's dad says he couldn't be more proud of her work. If I say I'm proud, it will probably be an understatement. Uh, none of our family members come from technology as such. She going in there and, you know, Excelling in there is something exceptional. And she plans to continue to pursue game development when she's older. Eric Vienno, CHCH News, Beamsville.